It's time for the 37th official test of the fire alarm system installed in the garage. And Merry Christmas! We have some Christmas lights wrapped around the fire alarm control panel today to celebrate. And if we take a look outside, we just might get lucky this year and have a white Christmas. How exciting! <laughs> Did you know that December is the leading month for home fires in the United States, according to the National Fire Protection Association? And that is purely because of the holiday season. There's candles, holiday lighting, Christmas trees, lithium ion batteries used in gifts, festive meals, heating, and all the other distractions that lead to an abundance of home fires. And did you know that I think in, it was 2022, it was Christmas Eve and Christmas Day that were the second and third greatest days for home fires in the United States. So as we head into the holiday season and into the holidays here, um, just keep fire safety in mind as we will today during the system test. But we're also testing the fire alarm system just for, for fun because I love the hobby. <laughs> Anyways, for a pull station, we have an Edwards 270 SPO local alarm fire alarm pull station. This is one of the older models of the 270 SPO. I have newer one right here that I'll show you so you can compare and contrast. The paint's a little different and you might notice the logo is different on the older one. This newer one is purely EST, but down there that is the older Edwards logo. And then also before we pull it today, we will install a glass brake rod just to make the test a little extra special. Anyway, going up for a fire alarm, we have some Christmas themed alarms as we did last year. We have a Gentex Commander 3. It's officially a GECG 24 PWW. This one was made in May 17, 2016. It has a green strobe and a fire trim plate. It is set on whoop tone and 15 candela. On the far side of the garage, there is a system sensor P2WL-LF low frequency sounder. There is a red strobe cover on it, 15 candela, and it is set on temporal three. Let's install the glass brake rod. To do so, we'll have to open up the pull station with the screwdriver. And then there's some text here that says to replace glass, raise lift, and insert glass rod through the handle in the front. So there's a lift bar on the inside of the pull station where you just lift it up and then that opens up this tab on the front of the pull station that allows you to slide a glass rod in on the front, slide it all the way through and then we'll close the lift tab and then close the pull station. And now it's installed so that when you pull it, it forces you to break the glass in order to pull it. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm and activate some loud alarms. Here we go in three, two, one. I forgot to also mention that the security system has been re-enabled for this system test. So here's the Gentex Commander without its trim plate, and I was thinking we could change the dip switches so that it has a mechanical horn instead of the whoop. So we'll do that just by flipping five and four 
to the on position. And now the tone should be different. And we'll go ahead and take the trim plate that is right here and put it back on. Just like that. For a second alarm activation today, let's go ahead and test out the dual smoke and heat detector that's located on the far side of the garage. Here we go, we'll use some Solo A4 canned smoke. Here we go. And the security system did not activate because it was already activated once and silenced. Let's go ahead and reset our pull station here. Use the screwdriver on the top. Just be careful when you reset these because the screw in the top can strip very easily. Flip the switch back to normal. No, that was not me that wrote that in there. I think that was probably written by the installer or the tester when this was installed in a building years ago. We'll flip the handle back up and then close the pull station. Doesn't look like there's any glass there, so. And then there was a trash can below it, so that's kind of convenient. No cleanup. <laughs> and then let's reset the main fire alarm control panel. Reset. Hopefully that smoke detector aired out. And then we'll also reset the security system. Okay, the system has been reset, and I think that is going to complete today's system test. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I know there's not a single soul in this world that doesn't live without some form of hardship, so I hope everyone is able to find peace, happiness, joy, love, contentment, all of the great things this holiday season. Stay warm. If you're in the hot environment, then <laughs> stay cool. And uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and have happy holidays, everyone.